Our top focus here amidst reports that the controversial film Messenger of God featuring Dera Sacha Sauda Chief Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh, my resignation is final, have informed the INB Secretary, unquote. Now reports suggest that the written approval from the Film Certification Tribunal is still awaited. Meanwhile, there were flag marches in Punjab's Bhatinda before the controversial movie's release. Right, we'll try going across to Rohit Khilani in just a short moment uh, on this story, but uh, uh, that's the latest confirmation that we have at this moment. Uh, it's a huge issue that, or, or a huge controversy over this particular movie, Messenger of God. Remember, uh, there was controversy brewing as to uh, whether the censor board is actually going to allow this movie's release or not. The censor board had initially said no. It then, as a matter of procedure, I'm being told, went to the, uh, the trial. Uh, Miss, Miss Sardesai, my follow-up question is, you were on that panel which actually rejected this movie, the no, censor board. No, no, no. Now, let me make it very clear. Okay. No, first, the film was... Uh, seen by what is known as the examining committee, uh, where, where which has four members with the regional officer also, so there were five of them, and they, uh, uh, there was a difference of opinion, and therefore the film came to what is known as the revising committee. And the revising committee was made up of seven members, besides I was also there as a board member. I'm a board member, and I was assisted by seven panel members coming from various communities and various professions. And all of us, the revising committee, which is the second stage of when a film is not uh, sort of uh, the decision is not taken at the examining level, it comes to the revising committee. And I, as a board member, chaired that committee, and all of us unanimously decided that the film was not suitable for public viewing. And we put down our decision and we sent it. The third stage is then the applicant can apply to what is known as the tribunal. Now, normally, a tribunal takes a month to sort of see a film because they have to study the various aspects. But this is the first time I think that the tribunal has been set up within 24 hours of having uh, the, uh, going to Delhi. And that is, and then I have also heard, I'm not sure, that they have cleared the film. Right. Miss Sardesai, so it means it's, it's a matter of procedure which has been followed by the producers of this movie. Yeah, yeah. The matter of procedure is that from examining to revising to tribunal, but the tribunal, as I very clearly said, the tribunal never sits within 24 hours. All films in the past, between 15 to uh, 30 days it takes for the tribunal to set up a screening. This is for the first time, I think, uh, probably, that we have sent our report on Wednesday and on Thursday already the tribunal has been set up and they've cleared the film. Okay, Miss Sardesai, my, my uh, you know, an important so question that viewers will want to know. What was there in that movie which you did not like, or, or the panel did not like? No, what was the object, the objectionable part? Do it like, this is nothing. It's not subjective. We follow what is known as the Cinematograph Act. Absolutely. And according to that act, we found certain portions of the film, like it, it is uh, promoting an unscientific attitude. It is promoting obscuritanism, blind faith, superstition. It is likely to hurt the sentiments of certain communities. We we look. We have quoted the clauses under which we have rejected the film. We have not said anything uh, personal, it's nothing personal. It's the, see, the film seen is in its entirety that we have decided that the film is not suitable for public viewing for these various reasons that I just mentioned. Now, Ms. That, 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 that is a, these are clauses in the Cinematograph Act. Okay, okay. I perfectly take that argument that you have, uh, you know, arrived at an objective decision and this is not subjective in nature. But uh, Ms. Sardesai, uh, Leela Samson has been quoted as saying it by the news agency PTI that this is a mockery of the censor board. Would you yeah, yeah. Uh, stand in agreement with what yeah, she has said? You, that means you're doubting the credibility of these two committees which were there examining and uh, uh, revising. But Ms. Sardesai, this is procedure. You only said that this is procedure. The producer can go. I'm not holding a brief for the, the for the producer. But we are just wondering how it has happened in less than 24 hours. The procedure also is that nothing it doesn't happen in 24 hours. The procedure is that it takes almost a month for the tribunal to be to sit and view the film. Because normally they would have to call the regional officer from Mumbai who was you know who was the originally sitting on the committee to come. Also, he should he's normally a part of that tribunal. Besides the uh, retired High Court judge and two others who could be social workers, politicians, anyone, and 
the regional officer should have been called or the or the CEO from here should have been called also to sit in on the tribunal. That ha that has not been done. It's just the three persons oh. who have decided. Yes. So, Ms. Sardesa, you are saying procedure this way has not been followed. I mean, there has been a... there The, the matter has been expedited to a point where yes. logically all the steps that need, need to be followed have not been put in place. Exactly. It has been expedited. I mean, quite shockingly, too, too quickly for us to even comprehend and we, it's all of us, I'm sure, in the are going to feel that what did we do wrong? You know, it's, uh, without even asking us any reasons, anything, straight away within Wednesday afternoon, the report goes Thursday, the film is already passed, uh, you know, going over the heads of everybody. So I think Leela Samson very strongly feels that there are other extrasensory CNSORI, extrasensory uh, forces at work, and therefore she, I think, has decided to resign. My, my, my final question to you, Ms. Sardesai, before I let you go, uh, this point, the last point that you have made, do you think that there is some sort of an interference in the functioning of the censor board? And this perhaps could only be the instigator. It may have been happening in the past also. These are the reports that we are getting, yeah. that yes, Leela yes, Samson yes. and the entire censor board was unhappy with the way the government was functioning. Yeah, it's, well, always there has been that, you know, because it is supposed to be an autonomous body. Supposedly, the CBFC is supposed to be an autonomous body, and nine times out of ten, there have been no problems. But then sometimes problems have arisen, and there has been government interference. But it it has been somehow you know amicably settled. Somehow, in this case, it seems to be as I said something. Else. There have, seems to have been some other uh, wheels within wheels due to which this whole uh, procedure has been almost expedited as you have used the word to such an extent that almost we feel that why are we around at all why did we even sit through this film of three and a half hours twice and then at the end of it all we are told that whatever you are saying is uh, not accepted right uh, Ms. nandini you, Sardis, i, I appreciate why it has been accepted uh, how, what yeah. what you know why why was it why has it been accepted after we have given solid reasons to say why it should not be accepted Okay, okay. I hope you get the answers from the government or at least this uh, tribunal, which you say uh, may be a part of the procedure, but the proper procedure has not been followed and uh, yeah, yeah. there has and, been and an yes, effort. And especially, as I said, the regional officer from Mumbai who has sat on the original examining committee should have been asked to come there also and explain the point of view, you know, the point of view of the peop uh, people who, had, who are here. He was not even called. He was informed about it, I believe, last evening. And within an hour, the tribunal starts. There was not enough time for him even to fly from Mumbai to Delhi. Expressing their displeasure in the way this entire matter has... Uh, the, 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 uh, the agency has actually gone about. The proper procedure has not, in fact, been followed. We have... Uh, Rohit Khilnani also joining us uh, on the phone line. Rohit, you heard a member of the tribunal, you heard a member of the censor board uh, actually confirming there that yes, Leela Samson has resigned. Number two, they are unhappy with the way things are going on to a point where very strong words have been used. Why are we around? Uh, definitely, you know that's the question that has uh, that you know that that that's one of the main reasons for uh, Leela Samson to resign and uh, and uh, clearly because we know uh, for a fact that when a tribunal is formed. Uh, people from various walks of life. For example, there should be a there could be a police officer watching the film to check if this could lead to a law and order situation. There could be some religious leader as a part of the tribunal to uh, you know to 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 say that you know this can uh, this this can cause some problems within the community. But none of these procedures were followed. Uh, nor were the members of the Mumbai uh, uh, the, the Mumbai Censor Board present at this meeting. So obviously, this matter this matter was done in a very rushed up way. What is the reason? Uh, who, who pulls some strings and, you know, uh, how, how come this happens so fast? That, that obviously remains to be seen, but definitely it's a matter that is, it's, it's not a news that's going to die down soon. Okay. Absolutely. Rohit Khilani there uh, joining us with all the latest. We will uh, stay on top of this particular story as we try to speak to the producer as, uh, producers as well. Because remember, uh, members of the censor board have in fact said that there could be extra sensory you know powers that could actually be at play here what have the producers actually done 
who are these powers that are being spoken about everything is very hush hush we'll try to get in as many details as we can even as today is the 16th of january when the movie was originally supposed to release it was a self release date that was given by baba gurmeet ram rahim singh and his producers so it'll be in interesting to see when the movie actually releases and what was the reason why the process of releasing this movie was expedited